The biggest high school basketball tournament is just over a week away and it features eight of the best teams in the country. Seven of the eight are featured in the excellent 25 rankings presented by the Army National Guard. This event's featured some of the best high school basketball players in the past, dudes such as Ben Simmons, D'Angelo Russell, Jalen Brown, Jaron Jackson, Miles Bridges, Alonzo Trier, Brian Bowen, PJ Washington, Trey Duval, Thomas Bryant, Dwayne Bacon, Caleb and Cody Martin, DeJounte Murray, Kelly Oubre, and a ton of other big time dudes. And this year's field is no different and it all starts with the number one player from the class of 2018, Montford Academy's RJ Barrett. The future Blue Devil got a surprise from a former Dookie, Jason Tatum, last week when he surprised him with the Gatorade Player of the Year award. Barrett has led the Eagles to a 31-0 record so far this season, and the only way they don't wind up as the number one team in the country is if they lose in the Geico Nationals. They open up with the Utah Class 6A state champs Lone Peak, who check in as the only team not ranked in the top 25 in the field. Montford has had a ton of success in this tournament. They won three straight Dicks national tournaments from 2013 until 2015, but have gone two years in a row without holding up the trophy. They lost to La Lamere in the championship game last season. Speaking of La Lu, they check in as the five seed in the field and they take on number four, Finlay Prep. Now, even though La Lamere lost Jaron Jackson, Brian Bowen, and Michigan's hero Jordan Poole from last year's team, don't count these boys out because future UCLA Bruin Tiger Campbell is one of the baddest dudes in the country. Finlay Prep's got a ton of big time players also, led by five-star big man Bull Bull. He checks in as the number four recruit from the class of 2018, and the future Oregon Duck is averaging 20 plus points, nearly 10 rebounds, and two plus blocks per game for the number six team in the excellent 25 rankings presented by the Army National Guard. A couple other studs they got are 2018 Texas Tech commit Kyler Edwards and 2018 Arkansas commit Reggie Chaney. The winner between La Lu and Finlay Prep faces the winner of the Montverde Lone Peak matchup. On the other side of the bracket, the 2 for 7 matchup is Oak Hill Academy vs Garfield and the 3 vs 6 game is University vs Shadow Mountain. In Brandon Roy's first season coaching at his alma mater Garfield, he led them to a 3A state title and a spot at number 12 in our top 25. This team is loaded and it all starts with 2019 guard P.J. Fuller. He checks in as the number one player from Washington and is the number three shooting guard among all juniors. They also got 2018 USC commit Jerron Brooks, Jamon Kemp, the son of the Rain Man Sean Kemp, and Pierre Cockrell is one of the most underrated guys in the country. Oak Hill Academy enters the tournament 43-1 and, and are ranked as the number two team in the excellent 25. This team's loaded. They got 2018 Kentucky signee Keldon Johnson, who checks in as a top 15 recruit in the country and is rated as the number two shooting guard. He's averaging 22-7 and four this season. They also got future Kansas Jayhawk David McCormick, the number three center from the class of 2018, 2018 Florida commit Keontae Johnson, and 2018 Oregon signee Will Richardson. The three vs six matchup actually features the number three team and number four team in the excellent 25 rankings as University checks in at three and Mike Bibby's Shadow Mountain team is ranked fourth overall. University showed everyone they belong with the best teams in the country when they handed Penny's Memphis East team its first loss of the season. They got one of the best resumes in the country with wins over Memphis East, Modern Day, McEachern, Westland Christian, Hillcrest Prep, and they won their first ever state title in boys basketball, winning the 5A championship. And the thing that was most impressive during their playoff run was the margin of victory, which was over 30 points per game for Adrian Sosa's squad. This team is loaded to Vernon Carey's a straight beast. The six foot nine, 245 pound forward checks in as the number two player from the class of 2019. Scotty Barnes can hoop with the best of them. He's the number seven rated player overall from the class of 2020. And then you gotta deal with Drew Drennan and Trey Duke also. Shadow Mountain had a scare in the 4A Arizona State Championship game, but erased a double-digit second-half deficit to win its third consecutive state title, thanks in large part to Jalen House. House is one of the most exciting dudes to watch in the country. The 2019 Arizona State commit is just like his pops. When he's cooking, there's absolutely nothing you can do. He's averaging nearly 20 points, 5 dimes, and nearly 7 steals per game. Bibby's team has 5 guys averaging double figures. House, Javon Blackshear, Emmanuel Allen, Antonio Reeves, and the sophomore Shamar Morrow. 
The Geico Nationals begin next Thursday, March 29th. All four of the quarterfinal matchups will be on ESPNU starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. The semifinals will be on ESPN2 starting at 3 p.m. Eastern Time the following day. And the finals will be on March 31st at noon Eastern Time on ESPN2. And I guess I can't get out of here without giving my prediction. I'm going with the number three seed University to keep its hot streak going and take down number one Montbert Academy in the finals to claim the school's first ever Geico National Championship. And this tournament will have huge implications on the final excellent 25 basketball rankings presented by the Army National Guard. This field features some teams ranked in the top 10, so if one of those teams wins it all, there's a good chance they'll end the season as the number one team in high school basketball.